signed up for tomorrow. Well, you lot, you have to open your presents early, don't you? Not exactly up to your standards, Teddy, I know. Bloody hell, Ridley. Could you run to a couple of air fresheners? Well, why bother when I'm going to be pulling it down anyway? If we don't fall down first. Still don't see what this proves. I think you're forgetting a little word called trust. Useful now you're here. Who are we, the bloody repo men? I can't involve myself in this sort of thing. I'm a pillar of the community. You wanted me to get a move on, didn't you? So come on, let's get started. I just think it's a bit off you paying your private tax bill with company money. Oh, I've led you two to a pot of gold and all you can do is piss in it. He's not wrong, you know. We're both shareholders. We should have some say in how it's spent. Oh, so you want the whole scheme to go tits up just because I've got a pain in the cash flow? Fine. Well, no, no, obviously we don't want that. Well, come on then. I'll go and uh, arrange for the transfer of funds to your personal account. You won't be mourning when you've got your no vacancy signs up all year round, will you? Oh, no. Then it'll be thank you, Ripley Holden, for dragging Blackpool out of the dark ages. I'm driving the economic recovery round here. So cut me some slack, would you? What's going on? Oh, you've been evicted. What for? Oh, drug taking, knowing, being ugly without a licence, who knows? The law's supposed to be a mystery. That's why judges wear wigs. You know, Vegas gets 30 million visitors a year. The, the punters piss in paper cups by the machines because they're terrified of missing the jackpots. Yeah, that's the type of customer commitment I'm after. What are you doing? Mm. You put some beer in the fridge, you might be a beer man. Who might be? Cheyenne's new boyfriend. She's bringing him over tonight. Since when? You said you wanted to meet him and she took you at your word. When are you going to bring a girl home, eh? Give me something to look at. Going anywhere nice tonight, love? Hey, come answer your mother's question. I don't know. Maybe Romeo's. Romeo's? Were you there last night? Why does it always have to be clubs? I was in Romeo's last night. I didn't see you there. It's a big club. You and the lads were in Romeo's. Isn't there an age limit? I've got to go. Said I'd be someone. What makes that lad tick? He's just going through a sensitive stage. All right, there was me thinking he was a Mardi house. This one's got tattoos, he can keep walking. But he won't have tattoos. She said he was more mature than the others. Yeah, well, I live in hope. Oh, yeah. Mum, Dad, this is Steve. Hi. So what do you do for a living, Steve? Work in the theatre. Oh, well, would we have seen you in anything? Oh, I doubt it. I'm the manager. Which theatre is that, then? The Theatre Royal. Never been there. Now, have you said legends? There's a bloke down there, the absolute image of Shaken Stevens. Really? And who's he supposed to be? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. Well, the Royal, that, that must be quite a big responsibility. Isn't that where the Crankies did Panto this year? I've not been there that long. I'm planning big changes. Yeah, he's putting for lottery funding. Oh, well, you better get in line behind all those lesbian refugees. Dad? No, I believe in people paying their way. I organise charity events myself, but I make sure the money goes to bona fide handicapped. Let's face it, these days you have a nosebleed and you get a disabled parking space. So how did you get into something like that, Steve? Well, I've always loved the theatre. I knew I couldn't act, so this is the next best thing. Well, my tip to you is give people what they want and they'll come. Well, that rules out my play about lesbian refugees, then. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Steve. Maybe you should have been on the stage after all. Actually, yeah, we've got to go. 
Yeah, well, already? Yeah, well, we've got that thing, haven't we, Steve? <laughs> yes, yes. Well, <sighs> nice to meet you. And you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. She's doing this to punish us. Is that what she's up to? Maybe she likes him. Has that occurred to you? That's what old child molesters say. Look, I don't like it any more than you do, but Cheyenne is nearly 20. Exactly. And he's my age. I can't believe you take this so calmly. If this wasn't your daughter, you'd be patting him on the back. So I'm an hypocrite. You law against that, too. Listen, you keep ranting and raving and you make it seem all rebellious and sexy. What, so we just do nothing? Well, I don't want a repeat of the motorbike incident. Okay, you're probably right. Yeah, well, I usually am. What is it? I think I drank a bit too much last night, you know. Would you want to talk about it? Do I look like Richard Maidley? No, come on. Come on. Her hair is soft and her eyes are oh so blue. She's all the things a girl should be. But she's not you She knows just how to make me laugh When I feel blue She's everything a man could want But she's not you And when we're dancing It almost feels the same Myself from whispering your name, she even kisses me like you used to do, and it's just breaking my heart because she's not you, and it's just breaking my heart because she's. What are you doing here? I didn't hear you come in. And you never will. The old kung fu shuffle. <laughs> oh, I see you've got Tony Bialy, the world's greatest accordion player, coming next month. Yeah, well, we do golden variety for the pensioners midweek. But like I say, it's my intention to you know, shake things up a bit. Well, listen to Andrew Lloyd Webber here. Well, I realise it might sound funny to you. Well, if you weren't going out with my daughter, it might sound funny. But there's something about the thought of you near her that makes me lose my sense of humour. <sighs> Cheyenne's a wonderful woman. She's turned my life around. Don't use my daughter to make you feel better about yourself. I don't think that's how Cheyenne sees it.